Ouch. It's all about quality and quantity on Bruise Day Tuesday. Here is Drez and Huck. Man, I'm behind. I'm I couldn't really hear it that good. But... In. Ah! Oh! <laughs> uh, we both uh, wounded your computer, I we think. Both, we both sucked at that one. Yeah, bad shooting. Uh, it is Bruise Day Tuesday, round two of some Irish beers, or at least themed beers. Uh, hopefully this round's a little better than the last. At I least got, for me, that uh, I got some motor oil here. This is looking good. You and uh, all right, and you handed me, which sounds. I mean, I think we're I think we're heading the right direction. Yeah. Uh, barrel aged, kindred spirits. This is a stout matured with Irish whiskey barrel staves, staves, stops, stops. stops. And this is from uh, Innocent Gun, which uh, it's actually Scottish brewery, but. It's okay. Oh, six point one percent. That's a little lower than I thought it would be. Actually, well, I've that's going to be barrel aged. I've got some Guinness, brewed in Dublin, Ant Warpen Stout. <clears throat> this is recently imported. It has been made for some time since nineteen forty four, and it was made for export from Dublin to Antwerp. So here Antwerp? we go. Antwerp. Antwerp. Belgium, I guess. So we're going to have a 8% uh, Huck session by any Hucks <laughs> figuring. I think I'm going to go with double sun, double glasses. So oh, I yeah, see. I forgot to put my glasses back on. Oh, oh well. Oh, now they are. Uh, so I think we should have a, uh, a Irish toast. A toast? Yeah, yeah, let's do a toast because I, I haven't even tried this yet. So All let's right, do toast. a proper toast there, Huck. Go Here's ahead. Here's my toast. You lead the way. Here's to the beer we drink and the death we cheat. Here's to our wives and sweethearts. May they never meet. Here's to whiskey, scotch, and rye. Amber, smooth and clear. Not as sweet as a woman's lips, <laughs> but a damn sight more sincere. <laughs> May you die at 90 under the covers, shot in the head by a jealous lover. Okay. Oh, come on. It wasn't as good as one Classic. of the other ones that you read earlier. <laughs> well, I'll, I'll drink to it, I guess. All but right, uh, Cheers. Could have picked, picked a better one. Could have picked a better one. I think it kind of put together all the elements of... Well, Ooh, oh, yeah, this is much better. Yeah, that other swill. I was drinking during the break. I won't name it again. That yeah. which shall not you, be you named. You confirmed that it wasn't just me yeah, dogging on it. It was not you. Huck, Huck was like, can I pour this out? He didn't even want to drink yeah, it. Yeah, that's unusual, I have to say. Yeah, I mean, that's uh, like a beer crime against beer. I'm not a drain pour guy. I am a chugger. You know, there's a secret Facebook um, uh, group about people that chug craft beer. Because it's shunned. We're shunned by the regular craft beer drinkers. But sometimes you just need to chug a craft beer. Because you don't want to waste it, but you also don't want to actually have to sit through drinking it? Well, no, a lot of times it's just because... This is going to be a little harsh. Some people are just, you know, sissified. You know what? I don't care if it's 10% beer. If I want to chug it, I'm going to chug it. I'm Huck. Well, I don't think. And I don't give a Huck. No. No, I don't think that. I don't think it's up to that. Well, I guess, I mean, maybe just from like a health and like just to keep yourself from being a freaking drunken idiot, maybe you shouldn't do something like that. Well, I mean, don't chug a hundred of them. There was a thing I just saw on the internet where a guy hooked a leaf blower up to this giant thing full of Miller Light, as it were, and he drank six beers in ninety seconds using a leaf blower. And yeah, you know, I gotta say, <laughs> I gotta say, you know, goals. You gotta have some goals in life, and uh, I, I put that in on my Pinterest, you know, because you just never know. Your Pinterest? Yeah, I might want to hook a leaf blower. Yeah, Huck Spear Buzz has a Pinterest. You might want to call it a Pinterest. Pinterest, isn't that what's called? Pinterest. Yeah, Pinterest. <laughs> okay, I'm saying it wrong. I don't know. Am I doing maybe it wrong? Maybe you're doing it right, and, I I, and everybody else is doing it wrong. They could be, because <laughs> everybody else a lot of times is doing it wrong. That's true. Okay. So, so anyway. tell me more about the Huck Spear Buzz Pinterest. Well, I just tag stuff. A lot of camping and beer stuff. Yeah. Okay. But anyway, I want to put well, we the never, leaf. We never plugged your Pinterest before. No, we have not. I, I, this is news to me. I'm not super active And I'm not there. on Pinterest. <laughs> you're not? I'm not a Pinterest. I'm not what a, do you call it? Pin- Pinterest? Pinterest? That's like, what I've always heard. It's got I don't know. Three I don't syllables. Do You're only using two. I don't know. I, I don't use it, so I don't know. But okay. uh, anytime I've ever heard somebody say I this, it was, Pinterest. See, actually, for me, it should be Pinterest. 
Yeah. <laughs> you know? Why don't you call it that? Oh, yeah, I'm going to call it Pinerist from now on. It, you can look on my Pinerist page. I don't do as much on social media, but I'm about to get going on it again. I've been I feel like I've heard this spiel for the last <laughs> four years. I'm really gonna get on it. This gonna... is our fourth St. Patty's Day together. Yeah. That's a long time. Yep, yep. yep That's yep. why we're drinking this weird beer. Not that it's weird. It's actually pretty good. It's because we're running out of the usuals. Yeah, you can't do the, we've, we've done, done the normal Guinness. We've, we've done, done whiskey. We we inappropriately apparently did Irish car bombs. Oh, I do remember that. Those were good. Even though they're inappropriate. Uh, yeah, but I, they're still good to do. They're still delicious. Well, it's, it's a real one. Now. So, yeah, people just don't have a sense of humor. Yeah, not good to do in that regard. Yeah, but just have a sense of humor. It's a joke. If you don't like it, move along. I and mean, I remember talking about Unfriend this. And me. like, I was like, well, what if they had, you know, like in Ireland, they're doing like 9-11 shots or they whatever. Do. Like they Twin do. Towers. I'd, ha- I'd do one with them. I probably would too. Yeah, let's do a Twin Tower. We'll do that next year. <laughs> okay, so the, the odds September. on us actually doing something next year. Yeah, so let's do... No. no. no too soon. <laughs> too soon. It's been like 100 years. No, too soon. Too 2001. soon. 2001. I can already read the emails. They're coming. <laughs> They're already coming, Huck. They're coming. Oh, I don't know. I'm going to flesh that one out a little bit. I don't know. Put on the idea sheet. Speaking of idea sheets, uh, you got anything on the horizon? Do we got anybody coming in or anything? Uh, anything I planned? I think we got some more Mexican beers coming up. I do got another round of Mexican beers. Uh, I suppose we could do that next week. If I was we, talking if you'd to like. some people at Three Notched. Okay, cool. I was talking to some other people that I can't name yet. And people can talk to me, too. Drez at 1053thebear.com. Huck's Beer Buzz. If you want to reach out, if you got beers you think we should drink, if you yourself are brewing beers or you got to connect with a brewery or maybe you were maybe you went on a trip and you discovered some brewery that's just like amazing and oh, yeah. you, you got to try it then let us know. Those of you who are actually craft beer fans that listen to us and aren't just driving home trying to avoid the popo. You guys should when you go somewhere and you find a good brewery that has cans or bottles get four different beers mm-hmm. and we'll let you come on the show tell us about your trip and drink your beer. For free. Are we really going to open up that door? I don't We're think gonna we going to do that. I don't think it'll be. Who knows? For the first person that does it, how about okay, that? Yeah, we'll get the first. And we'll see person. how it goes. If that works out, we don't have to put <laughs> you in the dumpster out back. <laughs> and you'll be all right. That might be fun. It who could knows? be fun Maybe, uh, to open it up to listeners. I don't know. I mean, I've definitely had people say they want to come on the show before. There's a but lot of smart beer people out there. I there drink is. with them on a regular basis. All right, that's fair. That's fair. Either way, all right. Well, uh, Huck's beer. We got was, April Fool's Day coming. Oh, we do got that coming up. I, have, I remember we did the non beers. Yeah, we'll we'll figure it out. We'll figure it out. We'll but figure something in the meantime, let's go ahead and untap these beer, these bad boys, these beer boys. Um, once again, untapped free beer app. Uh, you can check in your beers, rate them, tell people what you think. Like us, Dress Drinks is my handle. Huck's Beer Bus is his. We'll be your friend if you friend us on there. We will. I have a low bar there. Just friend me. I'll say I'll accept. Yeah, I accept anybody and everybody that does that. So yeah. do it. Anywho, what, how you feeling about that Guinness? What was that Guinness again? It's like a Antwerpen. special. It's a special kind of stout or something, right? Antwerpen. So Antwerpen. Wh- what makes it different than a normal Guinness stout? It's yummy. Oh, okay. because a normal Guinness stout isn't. <laughs> well, actually, <laughs> <laughs> you got me there. So the normal Guinness stout's four percent alcoholish. A little more if you get it there. Um, it's much more dry. It's much more boring. That but one, the normal Guinness, the normal Guinness. compared to this. this so one what's right this here one? is tasty pudding. What's that all about? Eight percent. Ooh. You know, I don't know. I'm almost. It's, it says it's like, you know, brewed in Dublin, product of Ireland, but it says it's like it's almost like they got together with the people in Belgium and threw some stuff in here that made it a little better. This is a tasty beer. I'm gonna give it a five. Caught my eye on the shelf. I was looking for something else, and I went, that looks good. Well, I'm And gl- it is. I'm glad. I'm glad. So, yeah, this round is definitely a step up because while I don't know if this ends in gun, Ennis, Ennis and Gun, what is this? A famous Scott, Scottish brewery. Famous. Um, Ennis and Gun. I don't, know if, uh, I don't know if this is a five, but this Kindred Spirits, the barrel aged. Oh, the I'm not whiskey a big, barrel. I'm not mm. a big stout guy, but it must be the whiskey. It's the whiskey. That's, that's making me love this. Because this is damn good. Let me take one more sip. I like take I said, I don't another think it's a five. sip. You know, and the label on this Guinness is it's blue. It's very nice. 
different from their usual black and gold. This is a really nice beer. I'm going to give this one a 425. 425. For a stout, that's a pretty damn high score for your from yours truly. Yeah, it really is. So, so there you go. That's our uh, our St. Patty's Day. Uh although I would say it's it's sort of like officially over now, although we still got Shamrock Fest. You and did. I got another four pack of tickets to give away. <laughs> oh, another? Yeah. Oh. And I'm going to give gonna away. We're going to be here all night answering the phone. You're right. You're right. I'm going to get some more beer. 731-1053. One final chance. This is literally going to be your last chance yeah. to win Shamrock Fest tickets He's probably lying now. again. I don't know. I, no, no, you're right. No, no. <laughs> now, this is your last chance to call in and win Shamrock Fest tickets. Once again, it's this Saturday. Uh, December 23rd, RFK Stadium Festival Ground up in D.C. You got Andrew W.K., you got the Mighty Mighty Boston's, the Mahones, the Fighting Jamesons. So go and get your... Jamesons uh, fighting? The Fighting Jamesons, man. Damn. That's good stuff. That sounds good. Uh, seriously, it's a great time, and every year I've gone the last, like, four years or so. You going to be there? Uh, um, I can't go this year, oh. unfortunately. So go have fun for me. 540 oh. 1053 Shamrock Fest tickets up for grabs and we'll take a quick break. We'll be back with the tunes right here on 105.3 The Bear. Stick around.